Hi guys, it's Sarah and I'm here to kind of give you a little update on um, how it's going with my Get to Work book. I've been using this book since January and I have been absolutely loving it. So I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like and what I'm using it for and how it's working for me. So this is the um, January through December 2016 version of it. She does have 18 month versions as well. And I believe she just released a black version. So I will probably get the black one for next year. Um, but it has been absolutely helping keep me organized and um, keeping my creative time organized. That's what I use this for. This is all strictly creative things. So all my scrapbooking and all my reading, I'm keeping track of both of those things in here along with both of my YouTube channels. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have a booktube channel as well as the scrapbooking one. So if you want to check it out, um, I will leave a link down below to my booktube channel. And it's basically, you know, it's all things books. So it's a lot of fun over there. Okay, so for my Get to Work book, um, these are the two things I've been using for that. I use a Sharpie uh, pen, and it's the fine point in black. It does not bleed through at all. And then I also just use this highlighter. It's like a paper mate highlighter um, to do things in here as well. So I will go ahead and show you this week's spread. So um, I don't do any like crazy decorating or anything like that. It's literally just... I write in it and then I cross things off. <laughs> so um, these are all my things that I am planning to do for this week. So I had Monday, I had quite a few things here that I wanted to work on. And then um, Tuesday and Wednesday, these are basically like just like big to do lists and things that I need to work on. And then if I have design team assignments, I plan those out throughout the week as well. Make sure I'm posting things where I need to post them as far as online and big Facebook groups and blogs and all that stuff. So, um, and then I have all this over here that I need to work on as well. So what I do is when I finish something or I accomplish a task, I highlight it. So that means I have done that. Um, so for this week, I had a couple of action items. I want to do three different Disney layouts and get those done. And then I want to do my November and December project life spreads. And I did those. So I went ahead and highlighted that. I still have one more layout to do for Disney. So I'm going to wait and highlight that when I'm done. So here I wanted to respond to YouTube comments, so I spent some time and did that. I did my December project life. Um, I took pictures of my project life. I put layouts away that were sitting, piling up on my desk. I put them in albums, and I uploaded my project life videos. So that's all the stuff I did on Monday. <laughs> and um, I just kind of spread it out throughout my week. And I tend to try to really only do things on days when my husband is working because um, he does shift work, so when he's off, that really is like our family time and time that I'm spending with him versus um, doing any work. So um, as you can see here, Wednesday and Thursday, my husband's off. So I'm not planning to schedule anything for that day, except maybe like little tiny things, but like voiceovers, I'm not going to do those on days that he's home um, and stuff like that. So, um, so far, this has been really wonderful. This was my last week. As you can see, I was very productive. I did everything I wanted to do. <laughs> so, um, and then I keep kind of a running list of like, if I have voiceovers to do for scrapbooking layouts, I will sit there and just kind of list them out. And then when I am ready to sit down and do it, I have my list and I just cross them off as I go. So I have all those there and um, some filming schedules. You know, I had a whole bunch of booktube stuff to film that day, which I did. So, um, it's been working out really, really well for me. It's nice to just have this open on my desk and I can look at the day and say, do I need to do anything today? Yeah, here's what I need to do. And then I do it. Or if I can't do it, then I move it on to the next day or whenever I can fit it in. Okay, so for the monthly spreads, I use these for my YouTube schedules. Um, I have these little um, Avery labels. And um, these were white, but I colored them in with a Sharpie. Um, when I buy some more, like when I run out of these and buy some more, I'll buy the ones that are already colored. But I did booktube ones are blue, and then the scrapbooking ones are green. So I just have them in here. And then as I have a video ready, I will write whatever the name of the video is, and I will stick it on the day that I am ready, that I want to upload it. So as you can see, um, for example, I have a whole bunch of Saturday videos ready to go for my scrapbooking. I have a special series this month that I'm doing on Saturdays. So I have them all down here and I have the names of the layouts and um, put them on the days that they are going to be uploaded. And when I have a check mark on it, that means I've already uploaded and scheduled it. So it's already done. I don't have to worry about anything. 
if I have something that, for example, right here, my Booktubeathon wrap up, I want to post it on that day. Booktubeathon has not happened yet, so I don't have a video ready. But once I have it ready and uploaded, I will just put a little check mark on that as well. So that's what I do. These labels are also removable. So I have one down here that I ended up not um, uploading during the month that I thought I was going to. So um, I have these are removable, so all I have to do is just carefully peel it off, and then I can just kind of move it around, which I have done quite a few times. Sometimes I'll put something on a day, and I'll go, oh, wait, that's supposed to be a special day, um, or I want to spread my videos out a little bit more, so I'll move it to here instead, and so I can just pick this up and move it around, and it, that's nice. Uh, so that's been working out very, very well for me. Um, one thing that I am doing as well is um, actually let me show you last month it'll be easier here's all my review books I still have a ton <laughs> actually I can take one off because I just filmed a review and I'm going to get it ready to upload where is it this one yay okay <laughs> that makes me so happy all right so um, at the end of every month um, there's I use one of these little project um, pages here that's kind of for you to kind of map out a project. I use this for my scrapbooking every month so I kind of set goals for what I want to do every month. Usually on these little smaller ones I do design team assignments so for June I had a sketches in time and I did a layout about Deadpool so once I finished that I went ahead and crossed it off and then here I wanted to finish my studio calico kit. I had two different layouts I wanted to finish so I did those and then project life I need to um, highlight that because I did November. Um, I actually did it this month, but that's okay. It's done. So that's kind of um, how I use this. I kind of put all my scrapbooking goals and projects that I want to complete in the month on here. It's not always full. Um, and then over here, I have my booktube videos that I want to do. So I have, uh, this was for June. So I kind of, I used my pen and ruler and just blocked it off. So um, up here, I have my um, to be read pile. So this is all the books that I plan to read in the month and um, I will highlight them as I actually read them. Here's what I actually read. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys, June was not a good month for me. <laughs> um, but this is nice. And then I also put what my rating was. And then that way, when I sit down to do my video, I'm like, okay, here's what I read. Here was my rating. And I just have this open while I'm doing my video. I have any review videos that I want to do. I only ended up doing two for um, the month of June because I did not read these three for the month, but that's okay. And then other video ideas. So I have like a goals check in, review books I have, rereadables, coloring book share, um, wrap up, and TBR. So. I'll just kind of put any other things and um, that could also be like tag videos or just any little fun, you know, extra stuff that I want to do throughout the month. Um, I'll put them in there. I don't always do all of them. This one, I just happen to be able to do all of them, um, but it's been fun. So I can show you that page for July as well real quick. It's ongoing. Obviously, we're in the beginning of the month still. Um, let's see. I missed it. Here we go. <laughs> so this is my TBR for uh, July. I've already read one of these books here. And then I've read a total of three books. Two of them are not on this list. But I've read three books already with my star ratings. Um, I have reviews that I want to do. And then I have a couple other um, videos that I want to film for the month. And I'll just, I keep adding to these throughout the month as well as um, I start getting ideas. And then this is my scrapbooking for the month. I really only have one more project that I want to work on. Um, specifically. So it's been really um, great. It's been a lot of fun to work on this. And then for this one, um, I have review reading. So as each month, I will move these over to the next month. <laughs> like the, So at the end of July, I'll move all these over to August, the beginning of August and um, all that. So as I read a lot of these video, or sorry, as long as I read a lot of these review books, you know, I'll take off the post-it as I do it. Um, and then anything that's highlighted down here, I have some that say video review. Those are the ones that I need to do video reviews for, not just reviewing them online because they're either from publishers or, you know, something like that. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Um, that is what I've been using my um, Get to Work book for. And in the back, I have um, some reading goals as well. I um, did these, I showed you these when um, I showed you this before, but I put a little tab here 
um, that says reading so that I can kind of go to it. And then I have my new authors list, which I'm failing miserably at <laughs> right here. Um, and then I have all my series listed out. So these are all my finished series that I would like to either read or start and see if I want to um, finish them. And I write the series and then what books are in it that I would need to read. Um, and then I also have the same one for ongoing series. So these are series that are not finished yet. And as you can see, um, some of these I am going to continue. I've caught up on a couple of them. Um, and then one of these I'm not going to complete. So I just kind of crossed it off because um, I decided I'm not going to go ahead and do that. So as I'm reading them, I'm highlighting them and crossing them off. So that's been a lot of fun to do that as well. And then I have my read three to buy one, which I'm not doing anymore. So <laughs> I'm really like, that's just not happening. <laughs> my husband asked me about it the other day. He's like, are you still doing that? And I said, nope, I'm not. It's, it's not working for me. Um, so yeah, I've just, I've really been enjoying this book and I have it out on my desk open at the current week all the time and I reference it almost daily, especially, you know, as I'm doing my work and I flip back and forth between the monthly and the weekly and just getting my stuff done and it's really helping me be much more efficient in my scrapbooking time and when I'm making videos because I have everything laid out for me. I just take some time on Sundays and I work on the next week. So, uh, for example, tomorrow is Sunday um, as I'm filming this. So I'll sit down and I'll go over this and make sure sure um, that I have all this in my head that I want to make sure I get done. I'll add anything that I want to do. I can move things around if I want to. If I'm like, well, that's kind of a lot for one day. I'll move this to next week. It can wait a little bit and I'll do that. So um, yeah, it's just been absolutely wonderful. I'm completely sold on this book. It's been great. Um, I have been using these little grid parts on the bottom to make little extra lists too sometimes. And um, I think I did a drawing on one of them before too. I don't know if I'd be able to find it while I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was, it's just really great. And the quality of it is amazing. It really, really is. The paper is really good. Um, like I said, my pen does not my Sharpie pen does not bleed through it. And um, it's been wonderful. Of course, I can't find it now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I've just, I've really, really been loving this. And it's been really, really working for me. I'm really glad I have it. I will definitely buy another one, um, probably more towards the end of the year to get ready for next year. I don't think I'll buy an 18 month one. I think I'll just stick to the 12 months only. Um, but they have been absolutely wonderful. And like I said, it's nothing fancy. I just write, you know, it's just writing and highlighting and crossing stuff off as I do it. But that's all I need it for. You know, that's, that's really, this is not my planner. As far as my daily schedule goes, this is just creative stuff I want to get done every day. And that's exactly what I need and what's working for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know your thoughts. And um, if you guys have a get to work book, let me know how you're liking it as well. And if you are on the fence about whether or not you want to get one of these, um, just ask, ask questions because I'm using it every day. So um, I can probably try to answer some questions for you if I can. I will leave a link down below to the get to workbook website. Um, Elise is a beautiful human being and um, her website is great and she has great videos on there as well and um, yeah I so I hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know like I said if you have any questions and if you have one of these let me know how you like it and how you use it as well hope you guys have a great day I'll see you again soon bye